back to my channel. So you want to know what is one single best exercise which will, which will help you to beat your friends in cycling. So you want to get strong legs, lots of power from the legs. So it doesn't matter if you're a road cyclist or a mountain bike cyclist. Um, everyone needs to get strong legs to be able to climb these steep hills and be fast. So the exercise I'm going to share with you ben uh, will benefit you in many ways. So you're going to get stronger legs, stronger core, stronger grip, stronger trapezius and shoulders and back as well. So it's a full on um, full body workout basically with one single exercise. So if you are mastering this single exercise, you'll have a massive power increase in your cycling. I know most cyclists are good at uh, cycling, obviously, um, because um, that's what you want to do all the time. So you go on a road or on off-road, go on a bike and enjoy yourselves. But if you want to take your cycling to the next level, you need to focus a little bit more on your strength and power. So the exercise is, you guess it right, is the leg. So when you do deadlift, you're using your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your upper back. And when you're holding the bar, you're also using your trapezius, you're using your grip strength, core stability. So that's everything you need when you're on a bike, when you're cycling and pushing these legs down. So that's all power comes from your, from your legs and core. Obviously, when you're going up the hills and trying to push it down, you need to hold yourself with the arms and use your grip strength. Uh, so that's, again, deadlift move. So ma mastering the deadlift. Um, always when you do any exercise, I uh, would advise you to start with a lighter weight to get your body ready, get yourself warmed up. Warmed up. If you are uh, jump on straight into, you know, um, your maximum, uh, maximum lifts, you can easily get injured and then you'll be out of cycling for, for weeks and months. So be cautious, be mindful and start light and then build your, uh, uh, build the weight up. The feet position when you do squat, especially for, for the cyclists, um, if you go wide, lots of people go wide, obviously you can lift heavier weight, but this is not how you cycle the bike. So you need to tailor the deadlift the way you are on the bike. So ideally, keep your feet close. This is what power you need when you're on the bike. If you go wide, that's so you're using a little bit different muscles and stabilizers. So you want to keep your feet close, get a grip outside your legs, keep your chest up, shoulders back engaged. So you need to make sure that you keep your back always straight. You don't want to get an injury in your back. Keep the feet flat and push from the heels, stand all the way up, maintaining the straight back. Do the slow moves first, get used to the move. Breathe out on the way up. So that's one variation of deadlift. The other variation is a stiff leg deadlift. So slightly bend knees, chest up, lean down, and then activate your glutes, push the hips forward. So this variation of the deadlift, you're using your glutes more, your uh, lower back more. And if you do your full deadlift all the way down, this way you're using your quads, front of the legs. So both variations are good. You can alternate different ways doing different variations, but once you master this exercise, your power will increase massively.